All right there. Let's talk about the project interface. Now, when you start project, the uh, start screen will appear. And this is where you can quickly open a recently opened plan. You can open another plan. You can create a new one. You can create a new one based on an empty project via the empty tile. You can create one on an existing project, or you can use one of the many office templates that are available. Once you do open a project, for instance, I'll open a blank project here. You are going to be presented with the project screen. And the project screen is the area in which you're going to modify, create, maintain your project schedule. And there are quite a few different areas on the project screen. Uh, at the very top left, you have the quick access toolbar. And this is going to be you know, customizable uh, area in which you can have some of your frequently used commands. You have the save, undo, redo there. This little drop down arrow will allow you to you know, quickly add new items there. I can add the new, or I can select more commands. That'll bring up the project options window with the quick access toolbar page selected. And then I can select items on the left from all of my popular commands and just click the add button and move them to the right. And they'll be added to the quick access toolbar. The tell me box is where you can, if you have to do something with the tool and you don't know how, you can type in what it is you're trying to do, press enter, and then you'll get back, a lot of times you get back a list of actions. You can see the action item there heading and then there's a, a number of items there. Then there's the help heading and then there's some help topics. So if I wanna show a baseline or if I wanna set a baseline, there are the actual commands. Or if I want some more instruction about these operations, the item under the help topic will have the help items. The ribbons, file, right? Task, resource, report, project view, help. They just contain the uh, commands used to perform all the different actions and projects. And then when you're on one of the ribbons, you have different groups, the font group, schedule group, task group, insert. These just really are going to be collections of related commands and the commands are basically the individual buttons, right? task, summary, milestone, and if I hover over each command, you note that a screen tip comes up and it just gives me more detailed, short explanation of the command that's going on. All right, so I have a lot going on there. Now the active view is this portion down here, it consists of my table, has a Gantt chart off to the right, that's the active view. Along the left, that's going to be the view label, All right, so it's gonna tell you what view you happen to be on, the status bar in the bottom left, and that's going to alert you to important details. For instance, uh, whether you're in manually scheduled or automatically scheduled mode. We'll talk about that later. View shortcuts that will have a list of your recently used views and reports that you can switch to very quickly. That will update based on the ones that you use most frequently. The zoom slider here, bottom right. That will allow you to zoom in and out more granular, less granular in your Gantt chart and your timeline in the time phased portions of some of your time phase views like your resource and task usage views. Okay. Now, another area here is going to be the backstage view and that contains all sorts of customization and sharing options that apply to your entire project plan. And they're organized on different tabs that are along the left here and you can see them all here. You have the info page up top, Access to the organizer, where you're used to share objects between plans. Objects can be custom views you might have created that you want to move from one uh, plan to another. The new page is like you saw before, where we can create new projects right from scratch or from those based on a template. Open, save, save as, close are your typical file management commands. Your print page right here. Options for printing the plan. And then we have the share page. The share page uh, just basically gives us options for synchronizing the project to a SharePoint list or attaching it to an email. Our export page includes options for creating a copy of the plan in PDF, XML, and XPS. The account page displays the connected services you might have, and also some information about projects such as the version. And finally, the options brings up the project options dialog box. And this is a dialog box that contains a number of different pages of information, all the pages here where you can adjust a wide range of options for project, whether they be at the client level, multiple project levels, or a single project level. Now looking at uh, some of the ribbons here, 
you have the task ribbon. And on the task ribbon, that's going to include all your commands for adding, formatting, organizing tasks, building your work breakdown structure. You can progress your tasks automatically here, 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Create break dependencies, indent and outdent. Uh, we can inspect tasks here. We can change the mode, whether it's automatic or manually. We can insert tasks here if we want to. We can see detailed information about the tasks. There's a lot of information about tasks in the resource. Ribbon is used to add resources to the plan and assign them to tasks. See, so the assign is there. And then we have the ability to add as well. You can see details about resources and then there's some leveling options here. The report tab contains commands used to view reports and other options here. The project tab contains commands usually applied to the entire project. Okay. And then finally, the view tab helps control what is seen in the project window. So you can navigate to different views from here, Gantt chart, task usage, network diagram, other views. You can change what table you are in when you're in a specific view. You can look for other views that don't happen to be uh, readily available on any of these tabs here, right? So I don't have a button for some of these, but if I look in here, here's the list of all the views. I can select one, click apply. A lot of information is available directly on the view tab. And uh, that covers the tabs.